Today we are going to do something very interesting and different, easy phonetics. And we are going to do this through reading of a short story. The story is Dreamy Sue. Sue is a short form of Susan. So we will do the S sound. Snake. Remember the snake. Okay. I'll put up the sentence and we'll read together. Easy phonetics. The story is Dreamy Sue. Dreamy. Do you dream? Dreamy. Dreamy Sue. All right. And the sentences. Here we go. One Sunday morning, gets up early. She wishes. She wishes her cat, Selena, good morning, then She looks out of the window and sees the Sun. The sky is clear blue. It is Springtime. It is springtime. When Sue goes out. goes out of her room, she sees her mom cleaning Silver teapot. Quietly, she steps.
into the garden. Okay, we will stop over here. So, here we have a easy phonetics and it is in the story form we will read together and it is a story of dreamy Sue. Okay, we are doing dealing with sound. One Sunday morning, all the we are talking about Sue, so all the S's where the sound comes, I have highlighted in blue. So when you read, fix your eyes on S letter sounds. One Sunday morning, Sue gets up early. She wishes her cat Selina. Good morning, she said. Then she looks out of the window and sees the sun. Sun. The sky is clear blue. It is springtime. The flowers come out springtime, no? It is spring time. When Sue goes out of her room, she sees her mom cleaning a silver teapot. Quietly, she steps, steps into the garden. So you got the story? Now look at the dreamy Sue. She it was Sunday morning. What morning was it? It was a Sunday morning, first day of the week. What is the name of Sue's cat? Selina. That's the name of her cat. Now, how was the sun? Where did she see? She saw it out of the window. Okay? Then what happened? The sky is clear. Why? It is spring time. Then, where did Sue go? She went quietly out into the garden. What did she see? A mother doing. Mother cleaning a silver teapot. Now let's read it together. One, two. Easy phonetic, dreamy Sue. One Sunday morning, Sue gets up early. She wishes her cat, Selina. Good morning. Then she looks out of the window and sees the sun. The sky is clear blue. It is springtime. When Sue goes out of her room, she sees her mom cleaning a silver teapot. Quietly, she steps into the garden. Okay? So, quietly, Sue steps into the garden. That's where we finish. Now we go on. A squirrel runs by. A squirrel Runs by, runs by a snail, crawls on a tree. Sue smiles at Sue, what does she do? She smiles, smiles at it 
and moves on a snake snake a snake slides into the grass into the grass finally so sits she sits on the swing she dreams she she dreams of sees ships and sailors suddenly suddenly she sees her dad sam her mom sandra and her and her little sister little sister susan looking at her see that's that's why i call her dreamy so says sam everybody loves everybody loves now let's look at the the rest of the story so now where was um, sue she was in the garden she has stepped into the garden then what she sees she saw a squirrel sound a squirrel runs by a snail crawls on the tree crawls on the tree so smile at it and moves on a snake snake slides into the grass 
Finally, Sue sits on the swing. She dreams of seas, ships and sailors. Suddenly, she sees her dad Sam, her mom Sandra and her little sister Susan. Looking at her, see, that's why I call her Dreamy Sue, says Sam. Everybody laughs. Okay, so now what is the, what are the things she sees in the garden? Squirrel, snail, snake in the grass. What are the things Sue dreams of? She dreams of seas, ships and sailors. Suddenly what happens? She sees and she's dreaming. We are doing dreamy Sue. She sees her dad Sam, her mom Sandra and her little sister Susan all looking at her. And then what does Sue say? That's why we call her dreamy Sue, says her dad Sam. Okay, so we have the story of the dreamy Sue. What is the name of her cat? Selina. What are the things she sees in the garden? Number of things. She saw the sun first, then the squirrel and the snail and the snake and all sorts. She dreams a dream. Huh? What is a dreamy Sue dreams of? She ships and seas and sailors and so on. We will now do some words with sound, S sound, okay? Words with S sound. Words with the S sound. Okay, now, let's say it together, sad, see, and another, see, soup, okay, slim, let's say it together, okay and salt, salt. So we have a lot of words like that. Sing, okay, we'll sing together. Sing, then we have seal, seal, sail, sailor go sail. So far, we sit on, so far. Then we have silk, silk sari, silk cloth, silk. Then we have smell, smell, okay. Then we have sauce. You like sauce? Sauce, socks. Then we have school, school, sleep, sleep. Then we have sorry, sorry. We have snack, we have sack, sack. Then we have you keep secret. Secret, then we have sense. Sense. Okay. Now let's do this salad. Now the word salad. Now look at all these words I put up for you. We are doing words with 
sound s the sound of s is s now look at all the words i put down sad say together c c we go out into the sea soup slim salt sing seal sail sofa silk smell sauce socks school sleep sorry sack secret sense and salad all word starting with the sound Now we have another interesting story about Alice and April and that will help you in your phonetics reading Alice and April a small short story for you Alice and and April Alice and April Now Alice has a small red diary okay it is called april Alice thinks that that April is her best friend April lies in the last rack last rack of a wooden cupboard inside it inside it 
pages, lives a tiny ant called Ali. There is also, there is also a bat a bat a bag a toy airplane a bat a bag a toy airplane and a hat in the cupboard in the cupboard they all they all chat they all chat with each other with each other Now let's, this is only part of the story, then we'll go on to the other half. Look, now Alice and April, okay, Alice, we are talking about a, 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 remember the sound, a, Alice, and Alice has a small red diary, what does she have? She has a small red diary. It is called April. The diary. She calls it April. Alice thinks that April is her best friend. Who is her best friend? Her diary. April lies in the last rack of a wooden cupboard. Where does the April lie? In the last rack of the wooden cupboard. Inside its pages, pages, lives a tiny ant called Ali. There is also a bat, a bag, a toy airplane and a hat in the cupboard. They all, all chat with each other. It's very interesting, isn't it? They all chat with each other. Imagine what the people are chatting. The bat, the bag, the airplane, the hat, all of them are chatting. So it's a beautiful story of Alice and April. Who's Alice's best friend? April. Her best friend is April. And what is this April? It's a small diary. Who lives in the diary? Beautiful. The people who live in this are a bat, a bat, 
an aeroplane had. What do they do? They all chat together. Now, where is April kept? It is kept in the last rack of a wooden cupboard. Alice and April, we continue the story. Now, April is sad today. Who is sad today? April is sad today. It is because Alice has lost her toy car. April wants to tell Alice where the car lay. But then it is only a diary. So April decides to take Alice's help. The toy car lies beside the rake. You use the rake in the garden. Rake in the garden. Ali opens a page of the diary. The car is in the garden. She writes in it. So now look at the beautiful story goes on. April is sad today. Why? It's because Alice has lost her toy car. Now what does April want to do? He wants to tell Alice. But then April is only a diary. Okay. Now, where was the car found? The car is in the garden. Where is the car found? In the garden. And she writes in the page. We continue the story of Alice and April. The next day, Alice sees the dotted writing. She runs to the garden to get her car. Thank you, April, says Alice and kisses her diary. But who writes on your pages? Alice wonders. April is happy to help her best friend. Okay? So who is April's best friend? Alice. Now look at all the words in red. Day. Alice. Garden. Car. April. Alice. And diary. Alice. Happy. April. So we have done the sound. A. A. Sound. Let us read together. And say the sound A. In each word. A. Remember A. Words with A sound. A corn. Cake. A. Jam. A. Pan. A. Drab. Tram. Sam. So look at that again. You have a corn, cake, jam, pan, drab, tram, and sap. Then we have angel, arm, flag, ham, stag, fall, apple, angel, arm, flag, hand, stag, fall, apple, 
ape, fan, axe, arrow, van, apron, ram, bag, rag, arrow, dad, snack, crab, bake, and here we have afraid, hand, lake, airplane, apricot and finally we have skate all words with a sound we are now doing another very interesting story about two toads you can listen to them talking and they're very happy here the two toads in a tree land two we are doing the sound t Two toads in tree land. Tony and Tisha are toads. They live in a city called tree land. They are married to each other. Tree land is full of tall trees. A lot of tulips also bloom there. Tisha the toad has given birth to tiny tadpoles. My friends are coming over to see our children. Tony tells Tisha. Tisha is happy to hear this. She clears the tin table at once and begins to clean her home. T sound. Look at all the T sounds in the two toads tin tree land. Two toads tree land. Tony, Tisha, toads, city, tree land. Two tree land. Tall trees. Lot. Tulip, Tisha, Toad, two tiny tadpoles. Then we have two. Tony tells Tisha, Tisha. Then we have tin table at two. T sound, t t. Two toads. We continue in a treat land. Meanwhile, now see what happened. Meanwhile, Tony's friends, Telly, Tipsy and Tess, board the train. Telly is a tuna fish. Tipsy is a tortoise. And Tess is a toucan. Tony wears a nice t-shirt and trousers to welcome his friends. Tisha wears a two-piece overall set. At last, their three friends arrive with a gift. They bring a basket 
of insects like tiger beetles, termites and ticks. Tisha serves them tea and tarts. On a tray they are happy to meet the tadpoles. Remember we are doing tea sounds. Okay. Tony, Telly, all these are names. Tipsy and Tess. Then we have Train, Telly, Tuna, Tipsy, Tortoise, Tess, Toucan, Tony, T-shirt, Tisha, Trousers, too. Then we have Set, at, last, gift, then we have basketful, insects, tiger, beetle, termites, tea, tarts, tray, meat, tadpoles, all Tea sounds. Let us read together words with T sound. Turtle. Tip. Tap. Towel. Tongue. Touch. Truck. Teeth. Tick, tail, teapot, turnip, tower, time, travel, taxi, toast, tomato, tent, Ticket, team, twenty, tool, teddy, toffee, tennis, turtle, touch, teacher, tanker, tape, Tornado, triangle, toddler, and telephone. All words with turtle, tur sound, tick.